Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Randy and we are Zephyr Travels. Diane will be joining us in a little bit. And this week we are gonna be featuring two different campgrounds that are very close to each other. One of them is Buckskin Mountain, which is about 12 miles north of uh, Parker, Arizona. And the second campground, which we're currently in, is River Island State Park, and that is 14 miles from Parker, Arizona. One of the things we found this winter traveling is it's been difficult to get reservations into a lot of the state parks. Our preference is not to book too far in advance so that we have some flexibility in our schedule. That way, if we go to a campground and our neighbors at the campground tell us about this great place to stay that's going to be somewhere where we're going to be in the next few days, we want that flexibility of being able to go to that campground. We've been booking our, our travel no more than a month in advance and sometimes only a couple weeks in advance. And the way we've been doing that is we've been going to the Arizona State Park website and they have a feature in there where you can look at available um, sites in, in a two-week window. And so we've been using that and when we find something available, especially if it covers over a weekend, a lot of times we will grab it. And that's the case here. We were able to find this spot here at River Island State Park over a weekend for six days. We then went back and looked on either side of this at some of the neighboring state parks. We found that Buckskin Mountain had five days leading up to this. So we booked both of them and that gave us almost two weeks in this area, which was great. But we've had some situations where we haven't been able to find anything and we'll deal with that in another video. So one suggestion if you are looking for some place to stay for your next um, adventure is one, be very flexible on when you can go there. The more flexibility you have, the better chances are you're gonna be able to find what you want. Look often, well, when we're looking for places to stay, we looked every day and to see if anything became available because what really happens is most of these state parks book up a lot of the weekends and such a year in advance and then as it gets closer to that date people start to cancel those reservations for whatever reason and so you want to be able to take advantage of that we've also had a plan b and then the plan b would be to either go to a private campground or boondock someplace and there's a lot of bml land in this area that we can easily find a night or two when we need to especially if we want to be in a certain place a little bit more about these campgrounds. Both of them are really nice. Are a little bit different from a state park, from a typical feel for a state park. They feel a little bit more like a private park in how they're laid out. Um, and that is it's very geom geometric layouts. All the sites are in line with each other. And you know, you've got a fairly small camping area, especially here at River Island, which gives it more of a private campground feel but what's nice about it is that you're not on top of your neighbors. Now, River Island Campground has much more um, landscaping. I think it's a newer campground. The pavement and everything looks fairly new here. So I think this campground is a lot newer than some of the other ones, and then, then definitely than uh, Buckskin Mountain. You know, my picture of a state park is a very wooded area with campsites kind of carved into that landscape. This is a very open campground. It's fairly new and it's very laid out very geometrically, very similar to how you would see a private campground laid out, but it's done much nicer. If I were to build a private campground, I would look at how this one is done. There's a lot of room between you and your neighbor. Um, we've probably got a campsite that's 50 feet wide before it gets over to what you would call the neighbor's campsite which makes it feel very spacious. It's very deep. I've seen 40 foot fifth wheels in these campsites. They seem to fit very fine. Most of the sites are pull through sites. There are a few um, back end sites around the perimeter of the campground. All the sites, at least all the 30 and 50 amp sites have water. There is not a sewer on the sites except for a select few, which I think are reserved for campground hosts. And there's hiking in the area. In fact, yesterday we took a, a really neat hike um, up one of the cliffs and there was an observation area that we hiked up to and was able to look over the whole campground. So we'll run that video now. 
Today we're going for a hike and we're going way up there. Well, at least we're gonna try. We don't know what the, um, what the path is like or, you know, we haven't been on before. So that's where our planned goal is, up on that bench. We're making. Yeah. We can sit down and rest on. I'm sure it's not that far. Right. But it looks fun. And then we can look down here. So we're going to start the hike now and we'll take you guys along with us. So come on. Also nearby here is the Parker Dam. It's only about two, three miles up the road from here. And you can actually drive across that dam. Now that dam creates Lake Havasu. And I've been told by one of the locals that that dam is actually taller than Hoover Dam if you consider how much of it is underground. Uh, apparently the soil here is so rocky and the bedrock is so far down that they had to dig down quite a ways before they got bedrock where they could, you know, start the base of the dam. And so that dam, if you look at from the very bottom base all the way up to the top, is taller than Hoover Dam. So I thought that was kind of neat. It is a much smaller dam crosswise, but it does generate electricity for the area. And it also controls the water flow through the Colorado River, which flows down here through the Parker area.
Well, it's time to leave and we've been here for a few days at River Island State Park. And so what'd you think, Diane? It's a nice, yeah, it's a nice park. It's not too large. It's pretty small because when you go off the dock, there wasn't much to walk. But there is a very nice dog and large dog park. Yes, and they love that. Right. The park's very clean and it also has a boat ramp. Yeah, and, a little uh, beach area. Yeah, a little beach area. I don't area. think they're swimming here, but they do have a little bit of a beach area. Right, right. There's some hiking trails. Yep, yep. And yeah, the, the scenery is beautiful. And uh, yeah, it, like Randy said, it's, it's not a huge park. It's the um, sister park to... Buckskin Mountain? Yep. So yeah, they're right next to each other. In fact, I think one of the um, hiking trails Goes, they connect. Yeah, they go between the two parks. Yeah, I think it's a three or four mile uh, hiking trail to, to ever take you between the two parks through the mountains. Right, right. We didn't do that one, but we did do another one. We did we, one that took you right up to the top of the hill behind us over there, right there. Right, and there is a, a bench so you can sit down and rest. Or hang on to <laughs> it because you're quite high and it's right, a cliff. Right, right. <laughs> they call these hugging cliffs. There's two cliffs, one on this side of the park and then the one over on the other side, and they call that Hugging Cliffs. Oh, okay. I saw a sign. Oh, okay. Yes, it is. It's very nice, very reasonably priced. Yeah. So yeah, I would recommend it as one of your stops in, if you're in this area. Yeah, if you're in the park, what they call this the Parker Strip. So if you're in this area, Parker Dam's right up the road here. Right. Yeah. And the nice thing is you're not too far away from Lake Havasu City. Yeah. So if you're looking for, you know, restaurants or you need to stop at the grocery store. Yeah, so that's convenient. Yep. All right, well, what should, we, what should people do if they want to follow along in our adventure? If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And what should they do? Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell for notifications so you know when we post new videos. We post new videos on a weekly basis. And we'd love to have you follow along on our adventure with us. So until our next video, we will see you then. See you down the road, guys. Leave a comment. Bye. Bye.